Over two million illegal immigrants streaming into America, Democrats don't care. Hundreds of thousands of kids in cages, Democrats don't care. Every Democrat on this committee went on TV on and on about kids in cages, kids in cages. You now know what they were saying they didn't believe, because if they believed it, there are more kids in more cages that are more full now than there ever were, and not a Democrat on this committee cares. Hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants with COVID. Democrats don't care. Children by the thousands being physically and sexually abused by human traffickers. Democrats don't care. Drugs streaming across our border. Democrats don't care. Young women being trapped in sexual slavery by human traffickers. Democrats don't care. Well, what do they care about? Well, this illustrates what they care about. Democrats have one priority, and that is power, staying in power. That's why Democrats have had four hearings on amnesty. They look at two million illegal immigrants, and they think, ooh, future Democratic voters, let's give them all amnesty. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and we need to pass some kind of legislation that holds senators accountable for the lies that they tell when they are in the Senate chamber. You know, Ted Cruz is lying through his teeth, and he's not even being subtle about it. Not a single word that came out of Cancun Cruz's mouth was true. Not one. Hey, Ted, I know that you're bitter that you and your treasonous party are no longer in power, and believe me, we're going to do everything in our power to keep it that way. But let me explain to you how it works since you've been in the Senate forever and it seems like you still don't understand the rules. The way that our democracy works is that the party in power gets to call the hearings that they want to bring front and center. And right now, the Democrats are concerned with paying the credit card bill that you and the rest of the Republican Party spent on tax cuts for the wealthy. Cancun Cruz is grossly exaggerating the numbers of people crossing the border. Secondly, children are no longer being housed in cages. Although I will say, the people at the border are not being treated well either. I tell it like it is, and we do need to do better there. But do you actually think that Ted Cruz gives a damn about migrants and how they're being treated at the border? This is nothing more than a talking point to him. Ted Cruz has spent his entire life being the most obnoxious person in the room, and it's a competition to him. And this jackaloon does not display normal human behavior. Take over the world. World domination, young, yeah, rule everything, rich, powerful, that sort of stuff. Cancun Cruz also mentions COVID, saying that he's worried migrants are gonna spread it. Well, Senator, an easy solution would be to vaccinate anyone and everyone that enters our country, no questions asked. You know how you want people to be able to buy machine guns at Walmart with no questions asked? How about we offer vaccines under those same set of rules? You see, folks, Ted Cruz doesn't care about our border, national security, or COVID. He just likes to hear himself yell. If only he would have stayed in Cancun last winter. But then Mexico doesn't deserve the cruel and inhumane torture of having him occupy their country. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.